Hello, welcome to Ekidewa. My name is Justice Mwaka. I am your instructor. Today, we will be learning how to design a scalp. So, to design a scaffold, first thing you do is to launch your putter structure and then you launch your putter details. And then you will go to the icon scaffold, wait for it to load. Okay, once it comes this way, this comes up immediately. You will go, we are going to design a single staircase having a one bay. Of six meters so we will click first of all we change the name we change the name to to six meters scaffold To change our number of bay to one because that's what we're designing for. Then we click on OK. Then we will be we are not asking you know numbers of stories. We want a three story, which is three levels. So numbers of levels of stories is three. It's okay. If you want to change it to two, you change it to two. But we are designing for a six meter, so we just say three. Three in the sense that we will input our our story height. To be two so two times three so the story height you're seeing here is from this level to this level is the two meter and from this level to this level is another two meter which is one meter and from here to here is another two meter which is six meters so then we'll go over to the width of our staircase the width of our staircase is telling you yeah, of our scaffold sorry not staircase of our scaffold is so telling you what is the width of this scaffold so we will use a width of 850 and it's asking us what is the length of our bay the length of bay simply means the distance between time between this pole this this standards to this standards so what we'll do right now is to input our distance we want a distance of 2.3 meters or 2.7 meters And then we go again to the next, which is Tadas. This Tadas you're seeing here, this standards you're seeing here, is these legs. They are the legs here. So we will have to choose the type of, is it a circular or a rectangular or a square tube? So we will choose a, a, a circular. Seven seven six by six point three. So we choose this. Automatically, you can see that it's increasing. Then we we'll go over to transform. This transform you're seeing here. This is called a transform. This is a transform. So then we go to what is the distance that we need here? We need here to be thirty five and thirty five distance offset. So we we'll say thirty five. Right now is to pick our size of transform. So we pick 430 by 3 and we show it to you again 40, 30 by 3. 40, 30 by 3, sorry. Okay. Then the next thing we'll go over right now is to move to Legas. This Legas. Two, two section that that are always put at that are always fixed close in between the two in between a two status so we just click on this legas and add legas 
you can see right now we have added leggers so with this this makes the scaffold very very thin it's made it makes the scaffold to be very thin when you add leggers so if you move this leggers look at what happens right now you see so for me i like adding leggers so i'll add leggers and then specify my we will choose it a, a a, a size a pipe of size of um four eight four eight foot eight by four so we go again by the next step which is the brazen okay this is a single brazen but i always like a, a double brazen so i'll click on the brazen and choose brazen brace tie double and i'll choose this location is just one location because we have only one only one bay this from here to here is called a bay so i even have two scaffold the next scaffold we call two bay so we have only one bay so say just one bay then next thing we choose we, we select a circular tube for this bracing if we choose a rectangular you see how to change or choose a circular and then we choose 40 48 by 3 okay then we go over the next one now and go to guard rays this guard rays you're seeing here is this is called a guard ray so we want to specify the distance of this guard ray from this level to this level and the distance again to another guard ray so click on guard ray and say our distance I want this distance from this level to this level to be 300 so i'll say 300 and i want this from this from the i'll choose my size of guard ray to be by 42 by 2 okay then i move to next which is the platform this platform you're seeing here is this platform that you just saw here that you're seeing here so we will have to specify the size of the the the, the weight of our platform because this is a fabricated steel so all you 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 can do is size all you do is the weight so we'll click on the platform right now and click on the first the weights this weight is usually gotten by the steel by the steel manufacturers so you just get your own weight so this weight i'll put 15 kg and the weight of the platform as you can see right here i i don't i i want this platform to extend up to this level closer to this to the to the spools so i will say give me 350 as my distance you see how here we will we, we extend okay to board what is a tow board i'll go and click on my tow board tow board is simply means this place this is a tow board in case someone is standing and the legs want to slip off this tow board will help to stop any um any equipment placed on this platform to fall over so i'll quickly rename my tow board you can you can you can be stylish on this area you can you can i'll rename my tow board now to be ekidel or let me say subscribe subscribe so okay there okay i'll just click here so you can see you can be stylish you can be stylish for here so subscribe to ekidel like then the next thing we we'll do right now is to move to our anchors these anchors you're seeing here the anchors you're seeing here Is an anchor this is the anchor so i'll quickly choose my my steel plug type 
if you click on this question mark here you will see the the sizes of of your steep log with the maximum tensile load it can carry so with this since it's a six meter high almost a two-story building i'll choose the i'll choose m20 diameter of 25 of 25 which can withstand a load of 11.5 kN. so i'll quickly come here first come here and choose m20 okay then automatically it it gives you your weight so once you choose it gives you your weight the next thing we'll do right now is to design and detailing so we'll click on design and detailing right now and then loading class this is a loading class this loading class simply means if i click on this icon right now you will see the loading class of this of this scaffold so i'll click on loading class loading four or loading one says no material loading only tools can be used e.g auditing and cleaning works okay the same thing to loading class two loading class three means lightweight materials can be temporarily stored but not to be permanently left on this scaffold okay so you just read up but for this purpose of of, our, of my design today what we are doing is to is for painting is, is for is just to clean um cobwebs so this this scaffold is mainly to to be to be used for the cleaning of cobwebs around around the slain area and also to fix electric bulbs which are burnt off so with this we will choose our loading class to be two the next thing right now we choose is our life load what is the life load we choose we just we put our life load to be 1.7 and then we we'll go again and then now scaffold covering do you want your scaffold to be covered if yes you click on this area you can cover your scaffold with with two materials either with net or with a plate so if i click on net right now you can see the scaffold is being covered with net that means it's just to be stylish actually if, if i choose plates the scaffold will be covered with plates which will make which, which is also nice but i don't want it to be covered so i'll say no covering okay so the next thing we we'll do right now is to analyze and design is to analyze the scaffold so i'll click on start analysis and the design is, is going on okay they say analysis results are auto date so let's check our design report if this if this scaffold pass with our with the with our wind load so we will just click on design report okay so let's see if our scaffold is okay this is a six meter scaffold design reports this is a 3d let's check for if our scaffold is okay okay for buckling and bending checks everything is okay as you can see right now they are all okay for buckling and bending checks there is no number of error no warning no there is no message again to you can see them they are okay they are going to tension to tension check is also okay okay so once your once your once your scaffold design is designed up is designed very well and it's okay the next thing you do is that you export to pdf or you export to save on desktop and then i'll close this i'll close this okay so we are done with the design the next thing right now is to produce our detail assembly drawing so and then our fabrication drawing so this scaffold is well designed and can be sent for for fabrication so let's um produce our publication drawings so we'll click on detail drawings and then we paste it here just click 
and we allow it to to draw the fabrication details of our scaffold okay it's almost done this is the detailed drawing this is the front view which is k to 1 to 1 to 50 as you can see right now this is the base and this is our bracing this is our starter and this is our guardway this is our platform you can see right here you can see even the names of the pipes are there in the dimensions then this is the side this is the back view and this is the side view this is the top view and this is the plan showing you the plan okay and this is the quantity and the bill of quantity bill of materials and then this is uh, the frames of the of the fabrication so this is what they will use to fabricate that the uh, the scaffold that we just designed so this is how you design and put and produce fabrication drawings for your um scaffold so with this now you can send to you can export to autocad to dsf which is autocad you can see exports so with this right now you can just say exports so with this it has been exported you have just designed a six meter scaffold that can be used for to change electric bulbs clean up some things that can be used for a lightweight um service and then all that okay let's just wait for our dsf to be ready okay i think it's ready so you just go to the file that file directory and check it out there this is okay it's already here this is our dsl file right now so this is how you design a scaffold thank you